Isn't muscle is just about strength and looks? Think again. Losing muscle, it means losing your brain power, focus, immunity, even years of your life. And this is not just my words. This is science. But here is a crazy part. It's happening slowly, silently, almost to everyone. But muscle is not just tissue. It is your building pharmacy, your hormone factory, your disease fighting system. In this video, I'm going to show you why it might be your the most important organ. I've been training for years. Gym, boxing, cardio, staying fit was always part of my life. And like most people, I thought that was enough. But I never really thought about what our muscles were doing for us behind the scene. Until I came across one research and it completely shifted my perspective. What I used to see as just a fitness was actually a key part of my body's internal system. One that affect my brain, my hormones, my immune response, even how long I'm going to live. In this video, I will show you 5 science back ways your muscles help you more than you realize, and why training them might be the best long-term investment you ever make. We will start with one that surprised me the most. Science proved that muscle actively supports your brain, and this is not about calories, it's about growth, clarity and protection. When you train, your body releases something called BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor. It's like repair crew and upgrade signal for your brain, helping your neurons connect, grow and stay sharp. The article from Frontiers in Neuroscience published in 2020 was all about it. As always, you will find all the links to the sources in the description to that video. Besides that, training with weights also boosts your blood flow to your brain, which means more nutrition, more oxygen and better performance. And then there is irisin, a myokine released by your muscles. It protects your brain from inflammation and supports neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to adapt and stay healthy. So yeah, every time you train, you're not just building muscle, you rewire your brain. And that's not only about your brain. Muscle also play a huge role in your immune system. And no one talks about it. When you train and build your muscle, you are actually creating a storage unit for your amino acids. And when your body faces infections or inflammations, it pulls those amino acids from your muscles to build immune cells to fight back. And here's something wild. During exercises, your muscle produces molecule called IL-6. Usually it linked to chronic inflammation, but when it comes from your muscle, it does the opposite. It acts like anti-inflammation messenger, help your body fight against it. And then people lose muscle, especially as they age, their immune response drops. Vaccines don't work as well, infections hit harder, and recovery takes longer. So yeah, muscle is not just strength, it is your immune backup plan. And here's something even crazier. Muscle isn't just helping your brain or immune system. It also controls your metabolism. During physical activity, your muscle uses up to 80% of the glucose in your bloodstream. It means that trained muscle actually protects you from insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. But that's not all. Muscle also releases special hormone-like molecules called myokines. Those molecules help regulate fat burning, sugar control, and even your mood. As a result, people with more muscle also tend to have better hormone profiles, higher testosterone, more DHEA, and more growth hormone. So if you're struggling with energy crashes, blood sugar swings, or low drive, maybe this is not your willpower issue. Maybe your body needs more muscle. And again, this is not just my words. You can learn more from the links in the description. More than that, your muscles are deeply connected to your emotional well-being. Studies have shown that individuals with low muscle mass are more prone to symptoms of depression and anxiety. This is not merely a correlation, this is physiological basis. When you work out and build muscle, your body releases chemicals like dopamine, serotonin and norepinephrine. These are the feel-good messengers, they help you feel happier, more motivated and focused. But when you lose muscle, especially when you get older, 
your body releases less of those chemicals. And that is when mood problems can show up, like feeling low, anxious, or empty. So if you are looking for a natural way to feel better, lifting weights might be the one of the best things you can actually do. And a final. Muscle is not just about looking good, it's about staying alive. Studies show that muscle strength is a strong predictor of mortality. For instance, researchers from Health, Aging and Body Composition study found that the lower muscle strength is associated with higher mortality rates. Another study found that older adults with more muscle mass tend to live longer and have a lower risk of dying from any causes. In simple terms, more muscle, longer life. As we age, we naturally lose muscle mass, a condition known as sarcopenia. This loss leads to decreased strength and higher chances of chronic diseases. But the good news, strength training can counteract these effects and helping you maintain muscle mass and live longer. So, if you are aiming for a longer and healthier life, building and maintaining muscles should be your top priority. We all need to stop thinking about muscle is only for athletes, bodybuilders and people who chase in six packs. It's not just about lifting heavy or looking good. Because every rep you do is not just making your body stronger. It's helping your brain work better. It's calming your nervous system. It's fighting stress, inflammations and even aging. Muscle is not fitness strength. It is medicine. And this is the most powerful medicine your body can create by itself. And you know what is the best part? You don't have to train like a beast. Even if you walk out a week, can make a real difference. And hey, if that blew your mind like it did mine, drop a like and comment with your thoughts about it. I will read every single one. All right, if you have been skipping strength training, now you know what is it really cost you. And if you are already training, good for you. Now you know what is it one of the smartest things you are doing for your future. And when you are ready to go deeper, watch this video next. The only habit you need to transform everything. This video will blow your mind too, especially if you care about focus, stress and mental clarity. See you there!